My name is Trevor Tsang. We are teacher candidates at UBC. Today, we are going to show you how we can create lightning in the classroom with the help of the Wimshurst machine. The Wimshurst machine is hand-powered and transforms mechanical energy to electrical energy. My name is Martin Shep and I'm a teacher candidate at UBC. The Wimshurst machine works to enhance and maximize electrostatic potential, converting mechanical energy to electrostatic energy. The maximum electrostatic potential is based on the number of plates used, their diameter, and the spacing between the plates. Unlike a Van der Graaff generator, which works with friction, the Wimshurst machine works with induction. Let's think of the quadrants of the plates in the terms of a clock face. Quadrants of negative and positive charge are created across the plates by induction between each of the plates. The two discs naturally have a slight charge difference between each of the plates. Let's assume that front plate has a slight positive charge. The slight positive charge on the front plate causes the electrons on the back plate to move accordingly. They move to the inside of the rear plate, leaving the outside of the rear plate slightly positive. Each plate essentially holds the excess charge until they reach the collecting combs, which are situated at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. My name is Karen Chong and I'm a teacher candidate at UBC. The charges that accumulate on the sectors are moved by the diagonal double-ended brushes that are directly in contact with the plates and sectors at 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock as the plates spin. The positive charges on the front plate are repelled by the induced charges on the back plate, and this positive charge from the front plate is repelled and moves down along the double-ended brush to the opposite side of the front plate, where this positive charge is transferred to the sectors. The quadrant between 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock carries this charge. As the plate continues to spin, the positive charge on the sectors are then conducted away by the collecting combs at 9 o'clock and stored in the positive capacitor. This entire process happens on the back plate. If we're facing this machine from the back, the negative quadrant is between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock, and the positive quadrant is between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. The negative charges from both plates are collected by the same collecting combs and capacitor, and therefore the positive charges are also collected similarly on the other side. New charges will rotate until they align with the other double-ended brush, inducing more charges as the other ones reach the collecting combs and are stored. As the plates are spun, the cycle continues with more and more charges being induced and being stored into the capacitors until it is discharged in the form of a spark between the two electrodes, one of which is connected to the positive capacitor and the other to the negative. Thanks for watching, and we hope that this video struck you, but didn't shock you too much.